everyone, happy new year and I've been having a very big video dilemma because honestly I have been debating on what should be my first video of 2014. I wanted to start off with a great big bang and honestly I've been filming so many videos for the past couple of days and none of them have been good enough for um, the first video of 2014. I wanted it to be like crazy amazing and all that. But honestly, like when it comes down to it, I wanted to show you guys the products that really have stood out to me in the year of 2013. For my favorite moisturizer of 2013, I'd have to say it is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Now, you guys know that I had religiously used the Clinique Moisturizing Gel, um, but honestly, for the price, it just wasn't worth it. I did find that it really did hydrate my skin until I used this product. It is very comparable because it's both like a gel formula, but I find that this one hydrates so much more and it really doesn't break me out whatsoever. So I really do like it. It's very inexpensive at the drugstore and I definitely recommend going ahead and checking it out. So the last thing in the skincare category has to be the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter. This stuff is so amazing. I now understand the hype of it. I've gone through two tubs of this and the tubs are pretty big and honestly I love just lathering my skin in this like at nighttime. Um, I sometimes do it in the morning but I do prefer it at nighttime just because it is a very very thick buttery consistency but it smells amazing it smells like you just got out of the shower which is always awesome and it just leaves your skin feeling touchably soft and I love it so much so for foundation, I have been trying out a lot of different foundations just because during the winter time, my skin does tend to go a little bit crazy. Um, during the spring, summer, and fall seasons, those are like really good skin seasons for me. Um, but in the winter, it goes drastically different. Like usually, my skin is very like normal, I would say. But during the winter time, it gets dry. Sometimes it gets oily. Sometimes I break out. It's crazy. So I've been trying out different foundations. But honestly, when it comes down to it, the product that I use the most foundation-wise this year has to be the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I just find that the consistency is amazing, the staying power, the amount of coverage it gives you without looking cakey is amazing. And it's very inexpensive. I've gone through four bottles of this just this year. So I'd have to say it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. For brow products, I hadn't really gotten into the whole like um, thicker brows trend until this year. Um, I had just never found a brow routine that I really, really liked. This year, I have discovered the two best brow products for my eyebrows. I do have thicker eyebrows. Normally, I don't have to really pluck them as often as some people do, um, but I do like using these two products from Maybelline. The first one is the Maybelline Master Shape Brow Pencil, and I use this in the light brown color, and honestly, the pencil is so nice, and con like the consistency is almost like a gel formula, so it keeps your eyebrows in place and it's also very very easy to blend and it's so nice that it has a spoolie at the end but to keep everything in place just in case everything moves around I like to use the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara which everyone has talked about here on YouTube and honestly it just keeps everything in place it doesn't make your like you know brows feel like all like crusty like some gel eyebrow formulas tend to do to your eyebrows I just think it works great and honestly like these two products together are my holy grail brow products for 2013 and probably for the rest of 2014 as well for eyeshadow, I have been obsessed with the Benefit Creases Cream Eyeshadows. Now, I used this when I first started out using makeup. I just really, really like this. This is probably the first product that I've ever purchased from Benefit, and I recently purchased a lot more of these creases cream eyeshadows especially because the new packaging is absolutely adorable so my favorite two colors 
of this season has to be birthday suit which everyone has talked about it's this beautiful like naturally golden brown color that is just so easy I just slide that across my eyelids and then I put some mascara on and I'm just ready to go if I'm like late to class or something and then the second color which I'm actually wearing right now on my eyelids is the always a bridesmaid I think it's an absolutely gorgeous lilac color and Honestly, this year has been an amazing cosmetic year for me. You guys didn't know I'm studying marketing and PR business in cosmetics. And so I have recently been trying out so many different products and I've been kind of branching out when it comes to doing my makeup differently. Um, if you guys knew me like two years ago, you guys know I never ventured in the colored eyeshadow area. But recently, lilac eyeshadow has been my favorite favorite color of eyeshadow if I'm not wearing like a neutral color so I'm in love with this honestly this is like the easiest makeup look that I do with the lilac colors if you guys want me to do a tutorial on it make sure to leave it in the comments down below for the mascara, this is no, no thought put into this because you guys know I use this every single day and this is the benefits their real mascara. You guys know I use it all the time. I probably don't use any other mascara than this one. I've gone through quite a few tubes of this for, for the past two years. These, this has been my mascara for the past two years. I love it so much and in 2014 I'm trying to like start branching out in my mascara routine because honestly like the benefit there real mascara it makes your lashes look super long and it doesn't clump whatsoever and it stays on and doesn't smear I mean unless you jump into a pool like it doesn't smear which I really like so I really hope benefit comes out with like a waterproof version of it because that'd be really awesome as well for my favorite scent of 2013 it has to be the Versace bright crystal perfume this perfume I found during the spring summer season this scent is probably the most worn scent out of all of the perfumes that I have. If you're looking for something that's clean, but it has a little touch of floral and girliness to it, then you guys should definitely go ahead and check it out. But I do not recommend buying it at Sephora because at Sephora it does cost like $75 for the smaller bottle, but I went to Nordstrom's Rack on like a few days ago and I realized that they actually sell it for like $40 I think so it's super inexpensive there and I feel so bad that I bought it at like full price but now I know where I can go ahead and stock up on it so I'm just putting out that out there if you guys do like that perfume go ahead and check out your Nordstrom's rack because they sell it for a much inexpensive price so for TV shows, my favorite two TV shows this year has to be The Vampire Diaries and also Greek. Um, the Vampire Diaries, I had started watching when it first came out and I really, really liked it. And then I kind of fell off of it because once um, TV shows start doing more than like four seasons, I kind of get sick of it and I'm like, you know, there's nothing new here. Like with Pretty Little Liars, as much as I really like Pretty Little Liars, I feel like it just keeps on going on and on and on and you just want to know the ending. I'm that kind of person. Um, but I recently picked up Vampire Diaries again and I really do enjoy it. And for Greek, I've always wanted to be in a sorority secretly. Um, but with what I'm studying and my profession and stuff like that, it just doesn't seem to work out. If you guys are like studying fashion or cosmetics or stuff like that, you guys know that like most schools that do offer a really good um, like study slash class around that topic, they don't tend to have sororities and fraternities and stuff like that which is really upsetting um, because I know when I went to Parsons um, they you know didn't offer like sororities and clubs like as I would have wanted to have like m I would love to study um, cosmetics and still have like the college experience of going to football games and also you know um, being able to join a sorority like partying with the frat boys you like you know it's like the typical college experience I really wanted to experience that for favorite movie of this year, I'd have to say it will be the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. I went to go see this with Lauren, who's a really good friend of mine in New York. We went to go see it. We literally died like 
obsessed. We are both obsessed with Lily Collins and Jamie and Kevin Zegers. We love those three actors. They're just absolutely gorgeous and amazing. Um, I wish I could meet Jamie in person. I think he's absolutely amazing. He just seems like such a cool guy. Favorite music, I can't really pick one song because I am the type of like person who's very indecisive and like, you know, like I can't really stick to one thing for a very long time. But I will name three of my favorite artists of this year that have gotten me through 2013. If you guys didn't know, I had a really, really bad year this year. I went through a lot of struggles. I moved four different times. I changed my major halfway through going to college. Um, I stopped going to college, moved into my own apartment. Um, just 2013 was just a crazy year for me. I lost a lot of friends um, to a lot of different things. Um, I've had two deaths this year um, of people who were very close to me. Um, just a lot of different things have been going on in my personal life. Um, and it's, it was just a really crazy year. And I find that these three artists really got me through this whole year. First off, Demi Lovato. You guys know I am obsessed with her. I think her story is absolutely amazing. Um, how she's a very influential per person to like a lot of different people our age is absolutely amazing. I think she did such a good job with handling the publicity that she had got in, um, handling herself in such like an amazing manner. I don't see how anyone can possibly go through that much struggle and be so graceful about it and having so much faith and inspiring so many people. It just it just amazes me how she does that. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you like Demi Lovato, like she's a Disney star, like she's not cool or whatnot, like I don't know, grow up a little bit. I know a lot of people say that to me when I mention that I do like her a lot, but honestly, she has just inspired me so much. I think she's such a wonderful, strong, amazing woman. I like her as well as Kelly Clarkson. She's been around for such a long time. I saw her first when she was in American Idol. I actually got to see her in person, which is pretty cool. Um, and so I find that Kelly Clarkson, she just writes about a lot of different scenarios that everyone goes through. One of my favorite songs from her is People Like Us, which recently came out this year. I think it was this year. I, I really like that song and I also like Dark Side from her. I think those two songs are really amazing. So I love, love, love those two artists and if you guys, actually I have not mentioned this at all on this YouTube channel and it, it's probably something that I haven't really told a lot of people but I have been looking into getting a tattoo for quite a while now. It's probably been about two years since I have said I wanted a tattoo but for the month of January I'm actually going to get a tattoo. I know my artist, I've already talked to him um, and I'm going to be getting a tattoo and um, I will show it to you guys when I do get it. Um, maybe talk about like how I told my parents and stuff like that if you guys want a video on that um, but it does involve a quote from one of Kelly Clarkson's songs so um, that's how much she really did inspire me for the year of 2013. So those have been all my favorite products slash random things that I've enjoyed for the year of 2013 but I also wanted to mention something that has really really you know changed my life so much like in the year of 2013 and that has to be this YouTube channel. When I started off in January, I had less than 500 subscribers I would say and I was super happy. I never thought I would get to 500 subscribers and now I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Like anytime you guys comment or like my video, it just means so much to me and I'm trying to improve my videos with like the new lighting setup, my new editing software and stuff like that and I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy it. Um, I know a lot of you guys I have become really close friends with which is really exciting. I love talking to you guys and I'm just hoping that this year will be as great of a year as last year's YouTube like year experience. I joined Awesomeness TV. I was able Able to work with a lot of companies and it just it's just really exciting to see like what social media can do for you so thank you guys so much for supporting me so much I cannot wait to you know start filming awesome videos for you guys and like 
making all the videos that you guys request. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.